Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Port Vale vlog now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it let's try and go for 60 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated you guys are smashing the support on the videos recently especially the vlogs so we'll set another high target let's try and go for 60 likes on today's video subscribe if you are new as well I am on the road now to 5,000 subscribers but today we're taking on Port Vale at home we've picked up 10 points out of our last possible 12 whereas Port Vale only picked up two points from their last possible 12 so where the favourites definitely going into the game tonight and that's why I think it might be a bit of a banana skin I am still going to go with a 2-0 to Bradford I'm going to go with Lee Novak and Billy Clark to get on the score sheet team news has already come out though we'll talk about that in a second uh, excuse the, the hair I've just got out of the bath but yeah it's kick off at 7 tonight and when it kicks off at 7 it's good for I can get the vlog out early before everyone goes to sleep but it's not good in the sense that well I don't have time to do much during the day basically here is the Bradford City team, them for tonight, as you can see here, it says three changes. Now, when I saw this, I thought it might have been a bit of a typo. I expected Callum Cook and Harry Pritchard to come back in for Clinton Donaldson. And, oh, who else started at the weekend? Gareth Evans, that's who it was. But then I also realised, we don't have a number one in between the six. It's number 13, Richard O'Donnell is injured, and Sam Hornby, our backup goalkeeper, is starting couple people happy about that, especially me, myself, but we do have a goalkeeper on the bench which is pretty concerning, but I think that's probably one of the best squads we could have at the moment, I think it only really gets better if you say put Clark on the left, Ishmael on the right, If he's when he's fit Ishmael is one of the best wingers in the league, and also having Bryce Osana at right back, let's take a look at the Port Vale team. This is the Port Vale team and looking at it on my phone I couldn't actually see the subs but I realised that they were down here eventually, but their fans were not happy that the fact that Whitehead starting, I think they said Someone at right back should not be starting. I can't remember who it was. Uh, Fitzpatrick also shouldn't be starting. Um, yeah, they, uh, uh, quite clearly, Port Vale fans are not happy with the team, as you can see here. That like, people are just not good enough, and it's just not really, not really good. Um, not a good side, to be honest with you, uh, judging by what Port Vale fans are saying. But yeah, a couple of minutes until kick off now. Um, actually, need to buy iFollow, so let's let's get into that. Before we go any further, though, I just want to give you guys one final reminder about my 24-hour charity live stream signed tomorrow at midday. The link to watch the stream is down in the description over on Twitch. You can also donate to the Just Giving page. We're trying to raise as much money for mine as possible. So if you guys could take out your time out of the day to go watch the stream, then that would be massively appreciated. If you do do that, adverts will run throughout the day and any money earned from the stream as well will also be donated to the Just Giving page. And yeah, as I said, we are trying to write, raise as much money as possible for mine. And if you want to come over and ch ch you know just chill out, check the stream out, then that would be massively appreciated. Let's get back on with the vlog. We are back in my studio tonight. Mum's, uh, I don't even know what she's watching on telly. She's watching some duck programme, I have no idea. But yeah, we are back in my studio. I have spent... 10 great British pounds of my hard earned cash on this game. For what, on theory, should be an easy win, but we look at that pitch and it looks like Bradford Ice Rink. Also, big news Mark Truman and Connor Sellers, the new joint interim managers, they're no longer caretaker managers. I have no idea what's going on with my light here. What the hell is going on here? There we go. I have absolutely no idea what we're going on there. I'm having a bit of issue with a light tonight. There we have it then, Port Vale get us underway in their lime green kit, looking very forest green like in this game. I'm probably going to get them confused, but it's going to be a bit of a battle tonight on the snowy pitch. Come on, sir. We're about five minutes into the game so far, and to be honest with you, it has been all Port Vale. Not a great start from us, but I think that's just kind of the tactic under Truman and Sellers. Be solid defensively, allow them to have the ball, and then we look to hit them on the counter. We've got a corner then, Elliot Watt will be the man to put the ball into the box. He's gone to the back post, Anthony O'Connor can't win it though, and Port Vale will clear. When the commentary goes, it just feels like we're all just sat in silence, especially with the fact that there's no fans as well. It literally sounds like a training session. 12 minutes gone, still 0-0. Oh, they're back. It will be Elliot Watt to take the corner then on the far side. Interestingly enough, it's not Billy Clark. Usually takes him on that side. Goes low towards the near post. Pritch is brought down, but nothing's given. Half an hour gone here then at Valley Parade. It is still Bradford City nil, Port Vale nil. Port Vale started the brighter of the two sides, but it is us that are definitely on top now. Levi Sutton's done really well to win the ball back for us. And he's played it into Lee Novak, who's taken a shot on the angle very tight, but he's earned us a corner. So our only fit keeper at the moment has been absolutely clattered by the Port Vale striker. There was literally no need for him to do that, but Homie seems to be getting up fine. Just about a minute to go until half-time. 
we should be winning. There we have it then, that is half time. As soon as the commentary came back, it um, it went to half time. But yeah, it's half time, it's nil nil. I don't really have any complaints so far, apart from the fact we've not scored. We definitely should be winning. Portville started the bright of the two sides for the opening five, six, seven sort of minutes. But after that, it was pretty much all Bradford. We've had numerous chances to take the lead, but we've just not managed to get onto um, the end of any of them. If we continue playing like how we are, I'll be disappointed if we don't win this game. We said before the game that it's one that we should probably be winning um, with the way that both teams are currently playing. And we definitely should be in front. We've had the chances to be in front. The way that we're playing at the moment is really, really good. The passing football that Truman and Sellers have got to play in is fantastic to watch. It really, really is. And uh, yeah, we just need to go in the second half. Let's hope that it'll come. Well, this time the camera's frozen, but we've got the commentary, which is not what I'm paying for. If I wanted to listen to just the commentary, I would have just gone over there and turned the radio on. So, can this be fixed? Well, I just heard the referee's whistle, so I'm going to assume the second half is underway. But I won't be able to tell you because, well, it's frozen. So, yeah, nice one. Corner for the Bantams. Elliot Watt whips it in towards the back post. Comes to Billy Clark who takes a touch. He shoots. Oh, it's gone all the way across face goal. Elliot Watt lays it off. Cousin Dawson. It's blocked. We've got another corner. Lee Novak's in round the back. The Portville defence. The less said about the shot, the better. That's Clinton Donaldson esque. 10 minutes into the second half. Still nil nil. Still hunting for that goal. We need it to come soon. Billy Clark plays the ball out. Harry Pritchard on this left-hand side. Goes back to Connor Wood who puts the first-time ball in. It's high and it's looping. Billy Clark heads it down. But there's no one there yet again. Billy Clark will take this free kick then for Bradford. It's a poor ball in. Not enough height on it. Just over 20 minutes to go and Port Vale are slowly starting to get back into this game. We kind of lost our rhythm. We're just aimlessly hoofing it now. We need to get it back on the floor. Start playing football again. Time for our first sub of the game. Gareth Evans will be coming on the pitch for, I believe, Harry Pritchard. Yeah, it will be Harry Pritchard. Pritchard did all right in the first half, but he's not really done too much in the second half. Just over 20 minutes to go. Still nil-nil. Gareth Evans on the ball here. Plays a good ball into Connor Wood. He cuts it back to Callum Cook. He takes a shot on. Oh, but that's poor. That's so poor. I don't think I've ever seen this, but there's only one minute added on at the end of the game. I don't think I've ever seen that in a second half. Only one minute added on. Well, might as well just end the game now, because the keeper's got the ball. How have they got one minute? It's five seconds left on the clock, it's probably going to end nil-nil, so I'm just going to end the video here. Referee's blown the full-time whistle early. I think the only way to describe that game is disappointing, frustrating. We had so many chances in the first half to win the game, we've even had chances in the second, and we've just not taken them. We've just not taken them. I don't know when our next game is, because the game on Saturday against Morkham has been postponed. The winning streak has come to an end, but Sellers and Truman, the five um, five games unbeaten now, three clean, three clean sheets in five. Hornby had a pretty decent game, but we've just got to learn to take our chances. We've been doing that a lot recently in the past couple of games, but today, I mean, Port Vale just had ten men behind the ball for most of the game, which were pretty unfortunate. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like would be massively appreciated. 60 likes, as I said at the start of the video, would be absolutely class. I know it was only a nil-nil, so thank you for watching, if you have taken the time out of your day to watch. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget about this 24-hour charity stream time tomorrow at midday. Link is down in the description. The Just Giving page is also down there as well. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.